<laughs> That's good that you slept plenty. You clean. I did that. What did I do that? On Saturday. Yeah. Okay, so why are we here? Give me strength. Forget your work. These four walls are our world. Sorry, I'm just let's get going. So distracted. At the ready. Oh, you're playing tonight. Oh, tell me. Am I beautiful? More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dune swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet okay, on my let's tongue. Let's go quickly. You are my sin and salvation. Oh, hello! Didn't mean to interrupt. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fists' hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you? Wait! I know you! Uh... Uh... <laughs> well... I don't understand. What's... Your face? The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this woman? Oh my god. Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. What is happening? Silence. What's happening? You should have run, girl. Oh, he became a... She became a mind flayer. Oh, God. Um... Uh... Um... I mean, he's naked, so what harm can he do? Watch or she? This. Hey, Yelena. Slow down. Tormentor. Let's have some carnage. Over here. What's inside? So about your friend. I'd heard tales of mind flayers, talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Um... How could I help it? I don't regret its death, but I marvel that such a work of art could ever live. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens mm. and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire.
You know, Indeed are literally incapable of desiring you back. Oh, I don't need it to desire me back. That's wholly unimportant. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. Rapture. Close Rapture. Eyes. Okay. Are we getting and into listen. something again? You know what? Let's go. A story and dub me anyway. We can just have fun from now on. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you like are Like how everyone else is anything. closing their eyes behind me. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? I don't know. I mean, powerful? I don't know about that. If that's like... Would be... Like the correct... Answer. Preferred? Hmm. Might be something which would align more with my character. So, I guess I will go with them. You are more than revered. Worshipped, you are worshipped. Right? An epic sung by the bards. A legend known to the scholars. A god among mortals. That's not. When the hosts of the plains <laughs> raise their voices in harmony, it is your name they sing, and your grace they seek. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting well, I moment. Don't know what Open to your say. eyes. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. I remember you, and you'll remember me. This is a labyrinth. If you had any oh. oh. it all. There they are. Kid Trackwas and You must hear me, Raphael. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you no. do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now, you could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. Okay. I'm glad you came. Not to my door, not yet, but to the final reckoning. Oh boy. One more thing before we begin, though. What is happening? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no, 
I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some Aww. privacy. The Illithid can't hear us. Huh. What's the catch? Can it read our mind? I'd ask you to be patient, but you've been patient enough. Yeah, now, now I want to get rid the of time this. to speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far, but no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At <laughs> best, I that much. it will kill you. And everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Mm. Orphan? Very perceptive. Uh, okay. Yes. Why are you I talking like that? Can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles till the end of your days? I'm just asking, Orpheus bro. is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an illithid. To you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope, even huh. now. <laughs> yeah, it is very convenient. Isn't it just? Mm. And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. There it is, of course. Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten I'm Prince. I'm not Do sure not? if that's a good idea. I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky, like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of oh people God, watching in horror as the ground there. came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting, and Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. 
Carsus' folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils and that I could use I don't that like crown either. to unite the nine under one arch devil supreme me. <laughs> Zariel wouldn't like that much. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her, I'd put the hells in this bastard's hands. I think he would make a fantastic Archiver Supreme, of course. I'm gonna say that to him. The hells require order to function. It is what separates us from mortals and demons. With the crown, I would impose perfect order, unity, efficiency, It's control. like he's giving a speech My to be like a president. My kingdom would control its borders and stay within them. It was stolen from right under my nose all those centuries ago. Yeah, he's fishing his snatched up the crown and squirreled it away oh. in one of his that vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then huh. I waited ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. I really like they him though, he's so charismatic. And like, into play. the voice acting and the body acting is like so good. <coughs> it's so convincing, man. Mm, give me a second, I'm about to choke on life, I don't know. Damn, I look good in this outfit. <clears throat> Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Trust any of Squall. them? We should do as the Devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Oh God. One shitty decision into another. Mm. 
Did it save? Yes. I want to see what he says. When How he short sighted. Much better to put it into the right hands. Hands that will ensure it is removed from this world. And it's the only way you can ensure that you remain part of this world. Okay, I we are just agreeing. What? You can't be serious. Right here. You'll find everything is in order. The moment I have your signature, you will have the means to free Orpheus. The hammer. You guarantee the crown will be mine once the brain is defeated, and I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal. I will come to collect. If you refuse to give me the crown, I collect your souls instead. And then we all gather in the House of Hope. Me dressed in my finest silks, you, skinless, right. hanging from a hook to watch as your world dies. I don't know. Is there any other way to free Orpheus? I don't think so. Or I don't know. I can always replay, right? I will just replay with the same character at the beginning. Yeah, I will... I don't know. Halak wouldn't agree, but why isn't Lazel signing the contract anyway? Perfect! One more rhyme, for old time's sake. The master was slain within his own house. They dined on him both, the cat and the mouse. The hammer is yours. You will find yourself in Orpheus's presence before the end comes. When you do, shatter the chains that hold him. Be sure to keep the hammer safe until then. Your survival depends on it. And I'll keep your contract safe in my house of hope. I'll be seeing you. And when I do, we dine. The ink has barely mm. dried, yet you feel a growing disquiet at what exactly you just signed. Perhaps a Diabolus can offer some comfort. Or a way out. For a devil's bargain is a hard one to break. Oh, Connor, I don't want to talk about it. But I guess I will. In here, I thought you had half a brain. How wrong I was. You signed a deal with Raphael. What were you thinking? Because why would the devil ever lie to you? It wasn't the only way. It was the only way Raphael told you about. He just wanted to get you under his thumb. And it worked. We'll as see long about as he that. has that contract, he owns you. I won't allow that. We're getting that contract back. You heard him, right? It's in his God's awful house of hope. We need to find a way in. I swore I'd never return to the hells. But for your soul, I'll make an exception. Just <laughs> this once. Well, thank you, we but need to find I already fucked up so many things. If we can find one worth their salt, they should be able to get us into that devil's lair. I'm getting in, getting your contract, and then I'm never setting foot in the hells again. I don't think it's a good plan, Carlac. I 
I'd sooner have imagined shattering a planet with my bare fist than taking a deal with a devil. But we shouldn't regret the bargain, not for one instant. Raphael can have his crown, if it means breaking Prince Orpheus free. The prince will be suspicious, but he won't be reckless enough to turn on his liberators. There'd be too little to gain from our deaths, and too much to lose. Are you sure about that, Now, myself? to the Charesse's caress tap room. We must tell Voss the news. Destiny waits in the wings. What about? I don't care what he's offering. I wouldn't have been so quick to sign with the devil. Then again, it's not my name on the page. So what should I care? Well, my friend, that's a lie. Okay, how do I get out of here? Can we rob him? I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing oh, your yeah, thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Me too. It's concerning that something could come between us like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? Yeah, let's try the performance. Because I'm such a good liar and performer. Um. This is getting better. I might need to reload. Oh, one. Okay, well. That was. I haven't really had to reload for a long time now. Do you have any idea what it was? Hmm. Let's try. Thank you. Yes, gotta try until I succeed. Because I don't want to tell the brain that it was. Um, It was Raphael. Do you have any idea what it was? Oh yes, 27, let's go. Then the situation is worse than I thought. If it read your thoughts, it knows exactly what your intentions are. And it is already plotting countermoves to stop you. We must press on. I will bolster your mental defenses. Let us hope that allows us to regain some of our lost advantage before it finds you. It is you. Most definitely not anyone else. The salutations and hello and whatnot. <laughs> Still Fionn, our king then? One of Mamzelle's girls laughs like a star's twinkle. <laughs> Not seen her for a ten day. Ten days and four bells to be precise. Not that I'm counting. Missing? I hadn't thought her missing. Just not here. Good, good. Or elsewhere. Oh. I suppose that's like missing. But with extra words. You don't suppose the murderer who's on the loose got hold of her? Oh, goodness, no. 
It's too horrible to imagine. Well, we didn't learn too much from this conversation, but um, let me go out. Oh. And all round pleasant folks. What's the plan here? The shapeshifter's key fit perfectly. Now, what's inside? Oh. Okay, well, I do want to steal the ground in the boxes here, though. For food and stuff, possibly. And lock and tools, of course. I'll just help myself. Let's see. There, by the bed. Someone spilled some. Two hands now, two hands, two of them, more needed, not enough. Must cover myself in glory to be covered in blood. He's probably losing it. Notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Hmm, is that story even good with investigation? It doesn't have a lot of bonus, but uh, we did you it. notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. Hey, hey, hey! Give me a sec. My dog is going crazy. Lily. I give her favorite ball. Maybe she will be chill. She's hearing stuff outside. View. Yeah, that's our guy that we're looking for. Pretty little key. Identical to the one I took from the shapeshifter in the temple tunnels. Wait, what did you say? Okay, let's see her face. <sighs> Honestly, who pickles organs like this? Oh my god, a lot of codes. Uh, I have way too much stuff. I don't think I'm gonna take this. A map with Father Logan's name. It seems the shapeshifters were all over the tunnels he used. Massive spreaders of deep red brown adorn this scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the Red Lord's tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the vault of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in blood as the end. Duke Berlin Stalmain killed. Father Lorgan killed. Ripples the Clown killed. Alexander Rainforest killed. Frank PR3 killed. Cora Heiberg. Hi Heiberg? Highberry. Not killed yet. Oh. Okay, so we have a kill list. Let's see what we found. We should tell, yes, and we found the layer of a Bali's murder in the Frigo's flop house. A target is in the layer details the killer's instructions, say specific Baldurians, and frame the absolute for it. Uh, the neighborhood is named underneath. Perhaps we should warn someone. 
We have the missing letters. Okay, okay, okay. So, so many things we can complete. So, I guess it's good that we. Yeah. I don't mind. Honestly. <laughs> nice little balcony. But I guess you can move out from this place and then try to also has oh. who should we record Dance. valeria what is valeria Oh. Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Yes, yes, Enough. we have. Yanis, listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of ill nature. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Feel free to look around the temple, but fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new but evidence. But I do have an evidence. Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. God, so now we can go back there, right? Can we get out of this place? This way. Do we have uh yes. The librarian does this thing with her way on a full Oh, both of them are up there. Oh, another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Hi, good Abby. How are you doing? Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Oh, oh I, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? A Baal plot. You as well. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I'm I assumed good, I'm it was good. just a bunch of conspiracy cods wallop and fear mongering. 
but she's been unusually Messing insistent about things, this one, even game. for her. Oh, fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? Constable Develler is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. That's it? You don't care about well, the other thing? What are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! You're so useless. Voss. Friend to the Comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the Devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. The hammer? How can it be that you came to possess it? Was it Raphael? Oh, no. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. Can it be? Will the mighty Prince Orpheus soon illuminate the astral plane? Gith's son will soon ride against Flakith, Voss. And I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith. The great liberator and her unforgotten son. His tick. I now have that no you idea have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the planes, and I will fly to your aid. The prince of the comet will sear the heavens again. Let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will not permit your entry. Mm, should I ignore him? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I guess we'll see at the very end what best I have done. No, I do not. Questions, Istik? You seem to be lost in thought. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Gaeh. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. Mm -hmm. That's not very helpful, though. Okay. Let's give that to Lisa. Why does she only have a thought? <laughs> okay. She actually has nothing. Well, Play. no one stopped me yet. One she can win. Since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of wielding a silver sword. The swords cleave both meat and mind, body and brain. To swing one, mesmerizing. To be slain by one, agonizing. Oh, I love Everyone her pressure. I bleed with the sword will be my tribute to Prince Orpheus. Oh. Nice. That's here. You recall another fact about silver swords. The Githyanki forbid their use by all other peoples. Only Gith's children may wield swords of silver. 
Unless a Githyanki grants the right in exceptional circumstance. The Illithid Grand Design nears. The true heir is shackled. These are exceptional circumstances. I grant my allies the right to my silver. Hey. Certainly not, or the Prince's honor guard would have already fractured his prison. To break Orpheus free, we will need the Orphic Hammer. A Kithrax silver sword is more than a weapon. It is an extension of your will, an entire limb unto itself. You merely need to think strike, and it strikes. Mm. The sword carves the correct path, and carries your arm with it. The ancient slates tell us that each sword holds a fragment of the living gate, a flesh portal made from the stuffs of nightmare. The silver injures the body, oh, no, the gate's see, flesh feel, injures please, the please. mind, a formidable weapon against Gaeth. Very well. Now, hopefully, it didn't open them. Uh, stumbled across those letters yet? Thank the gods. Unopened as well. Oh, what a relief. My customers will be most pleased. Here's your fee. As promised. Nice. That'll make a great headline. Fascinating. <laughs> oh? Footprints. Heading into that cave. Suspiciously small footprints. Boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Look, unless you're an expert in steel watcher gyroscopics, please get out of my light. Don't you feel it? There's something underneath the city, inside the rock. But when I ask the stone why it shakes, it only screams. I want to go home. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Only if you're quick. Please. He's not nice. Oh, this could be useful. Nah, not spending my money. I need to save up. Now something. let me get back to it. Yeah. Everyone would be scared. Let's talk with this dude. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. 
The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. Good. We don't have a chance unless we stick together. Not while yeah, the Gondians and good. metal monsters are patrolling the streets. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Not Shiro. <laughs> I can blame them for precisely that reason. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. One army? That... Yeah. I mean, but... Could be they're part of the cult. Could just be for coin. Couldn't possibly tell you. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's oh boots, given the chance. <laughs> and now they'll kiss Gortash's ring mm. while the city screams. Heads above ground, the, the watches are on us like flies on shit. Neither was Moonrise. And look how that turned out. You have a knack for passing among these bastards as if you were one of them. Well, not anymore. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. Okay. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and... Boom. Problem solved. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. I'm not just gonna blow them up. There is no other way. But I believe oh, in second you. chances. When you come crawling back here, and you will, we can talk. She help out a bit more. Cold breath. Bex died. Oh, Bex is dead. I'm alive. I'm sorry. I didn't want her what? to die. I remember her. I'm sorry. I'm no one without Bex. So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. Well, okay, we can go in there. How did the wine sack get empty, Garen? It was 
somebody drunk at my don't see anyone familiar here. I'm not paid to debate with civilians. You oh. turn around and toddle your way right back out of here. Oh. Everything in this barn has been donated for the refugees. Not you. Now piss off. You sure? This lot have been through enough without your ignorance. Now, are you going to clear off or not? In case little weasels like you come sniffing around. Well, I wasn't going to see you. Not unless you want to make a donation. Guess you're not all bad. Give it here and I'll make sure it's kept safely okay, with the other donations. <laughs> oh, should I be evil? Okay, let's go. I saved. Ooh, I ah, easy. Well, if you must, I suppose it saves me the work. That was easier than but I if thought you're gonna it was going to be. Hurry up. I just want to look around, okay? I don't want to steal anything. I just want to look around what's inside. Maybe look into that chest, perhaps? Don't touch me, shall we? Maybe I'll just wait for him to come back. Coming back fast, fast, fast. Okay. Didn't do anything. I just wanna check what's inside. I swear I'm not gonna take it if I don't really need it actually. Ooh, I gotta take it. Bye! That's all, I'm not gonna take anything else. Sir, your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. Oh. How may I be of service? He has a lot of things. Oh, I'm gonna take these because I need these. Um. What else? Ooh, horns of the berserker. And the Look, activate granting enemies disadvantage on the Well, not for that, but I kinda like the black look. Short father bless you. Short father? Bless Greetings, you. sir. How may I be of service? Yeah, I'm looking for Harpers. I'm more chancers than champions, if you take my meaning. Present company excluded, okay. I'm sure. Okay. No, I don't know any uh, Jahira, was it? Lothras, 
I know the taste all too well. <laughs> you too, I'd wager. Yeah. Fine, yes. You have the right place. But where's the leaf flicker herself? She wouldn't have revealed this place otherwise, which makes you one of the rare breed she does trust. Here's the key. The others are below, and bearing oh. bad news by the looks of it. Thank you. Right, Sommy. You're on the door till our friends are done. Gods forbid we do any business. Oh, close the door. I want to look around. What do we have here? Hey, you take that. Rags, 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 rags. Take the food. Anything of use? Hopefully I have enough now to keep opening doors. Oh, hello. You are not your hero. Oh, he kind of looks like Loki. You are not Jahira. <laughs> you are very observant. I, I was hoping to greet the High Harper beneath Saluna's tears. You have the lad a little nervous. You're the one toppled Ketherick out in the Shadowlands, no? Geraldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using Saluna's tears as some kind of code. Hmm. Wait, I'm not sure. What if I fail to detect thoughts? Oh, well, I didn't. <laughs> Stare at me. Study me. This Harper's face bores me. Perhaps I'll steal yours next. Hmm. Doppelganger. Oh, okay. Geraldus, you spoiled Orin's surprise. We'll deliver you alive for that. But not you. Should have. S oh my god, I'm so clueless. Well, at is he with me? Jesus, that was a brilliant idea. Oh. Hopefully he will survive. Can't exactly 
hit him like that, but I do want to go up. I'm heating up. Can you go there? Find a route. You can. And I forgot the rage. Can I possibly shove it? <laughs> no, I can't. I tried though. Well, I don't want that guy to die, so I will focus on that person probably on her. It's useful actually. No escape. Huh. Go this. Guys, it's hot in here. Mm. Shove her down now. Why is it not working? Oh well. What about this? Oh. Dang it. Why is the shuffle not working? And I'm gonna bite on you. Yum yum. Um, Moving. Do we have enough movement? Like this, mate. Boink. Boink. Exactly move there. I will just shoot him. And he's dead. How many has she brought to Bow's side, I wonder? Let's start with this dude. So what happened? Thank thank you. I'm... 
alive. That's more than the others can say. You're... You're the one I harbored Jahira sent. Yep, that's me. Oh, thank the gods. You're the first friendly face I've seen in days. Old Danthelon included. The others... They're all dead. Or scattered. Do you hear a sent word of the victory over Ketherick? Set us hunting after the cultists in the city, but they were the ones hunting us. Things were quiet until we started to ask about the Rashimar. Rashimar, a native of Rashaman, the far eastern land known for its wild inhabitants and the witches who rule them. I... The High Harbor didn't tell you. Uh, perhaps it's not my place. Listen, just I just saved tell her you. This. I can't continue the hunt. Whatever the cult has done with the Rashima, they do not want him found. Okay. That went well. What? By the Morden Summons Curlies went on down there. Of course. Of course they bloody did. Oh, clear out then. I'm guessing I have some tidying to do before the steel watch squeals by. Yep. I've had enough dealings with Harpers to know I don't want the answers. Go on now. Invented the steel watch. Bye. Yeah, I want to take a long rest. Let's talk to Johera. I will also get up and quickly uh, make a coffee. So Bell's chosen is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good. Exactly. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin... He's more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Yeah, probably. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. <laughs> Orin knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the Harpers beyond our reach separates us from our pack. Until we know who the false facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. And I was so busy telling you not to take her bait that I scarcely felt the hook in my own mouth. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen, true enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mince of Rashomon? Nothing. The name is as familiar <laughs> as Jahira's own. A hero of the time of troubles, who saved the city more than once. I sense you mean no insult, calling scarce a century ago the old days, which is considerably more insulting. <laughs> You're Minsk welcome. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We've fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. 
A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there. Cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. That was it was chaos. Idea. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, Perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Yeah, let's go find him. I mean. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? Yeah, we are buddies. Hmm. Perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without a means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this. Damn city. <laughs> hey, let's I have a lot on my mind. Shapeshifters in the Harpers. My dad always admired their mission. Said they gave up their entire lives so we could live safely and ask for nothing in return. We'll rout them, right? For the city and for dad. Oh, Will? Will wants to talk? Okay. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. Yep. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 27. Mm, something's always gnawed at Why me. am I not at lucky when I need to be lucky? Still, they didn't seem to look at us. I mean, I do want to know us. more. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination. But I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Hmm. I couldn't say. But think about this. My father was tadpoled. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. 
Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. I hate that that stupid that ball thing is always there to talk about. I want to forget that I ever made that bad decision. We can't rely on the Harpers. Not when Orin has them infested with shapeshifters. We're on our own. Though, I suppose we're used to it by now. So pretty Shadowheart with your new hair. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. No, game. Don't do this to me. Okay, we just had a little cutscene glitch. Everything is fine. And handing it over to a devil will be a way to prevent it? You're many things, but never that naive. I am For naive, now, actually. our plan must remain the same. We go to Sorcerer's Sundries and learn about that crown. And pray the devil doesn't get I'm there trying, first. Gail, I'm trying to go there, but... Hope you're keeping well, friend. Oh, Scratch, I love you. You're my only... Only friend here. <laughs> Who loves me. Let's see what he's saying. So much for the cavalry riding to our rescue. This is what we get for putting our faith in a network of spies, I suppose. Give it a shot. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. <laughs> How did you? Oh, it's you. as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing. An elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus contained in submissive slumber. It's not beautiful, dude. Come. It's not. You may as well sit a while. Now that you are here, your company isn't. Ready for her death. You 
thought Aww. you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. Are you some reference pictures of my me? In a way, but not the way you're thinking of. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. Do you need a hug? <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate not your understanding. What I feel is if I didn't hug Kalak, I'm not hugging a mind slayer. And not entirely I have principles. Most people think that mind flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. You know, not the first one. I don't believe you, though. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your oh, position regarding your physical Oh, shut up! No! Form. I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept <gasps> just a touch Leave me alone with this! Take back your Not stupid test ball. I don't want it anymore. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. Can I just not have one good night's sleep? What? Who are you? Put him up! Put him up! <laughs> I want to see the fourth option. Wait! I wasn't really gonna fight you. I was just trying something out. My name's Narber, adventurer to be, soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. Huh? As soon as I figure I out like what kind of adventure I want to be. What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Do not give us a fight. No. Right you are. I'll just find something to punch, I guess. It won't hurt, will it? No, surely not. Mm-hmm. Gondians built well, the steel wall. We're shopping for a suit, yeah. Oh, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Calm's Garms. I'm Calm. Well, Calm Men. <laughs> mm. What can I do you for? You've not quite got the pattern yet, Let's take a look at your Sounds wares. Sounds good. Get you something a bit fresher than your current outfit. Did you see how far that watcher threw me? Must be on my way. Indeed, you tried to climb up one, you madman! Orin be damned! Her bloody fingerprints are all over this city.
You want past? Talk to Ellen. Hey. Sorry, chum. Can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. Why would I attack? <sighs> ah, yes, the uh, orphans fund. You can pay me directly. I'll make sure to. Wait, it was a fail. So. Whatever. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. Now for the first try. Ah, okay. Yes, the uh, orphans fund. You can pay me directly. I'll make sure to 20, pass your gold to the orphans. I'm sure you will. Gaining access will not be easy. We must either earn an invitation. No entry today. Special occasion. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. Okay. That was easy. How much farther can I go? Oh, also I gotta open my cheat sheet. Halt! We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, oh. commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethric Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. It already is. Granted, there are a few formalities to complete, but... Well, why don't you come see? Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Um, we shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. Make your way to the audience chamber. Uh, do I wanna confront him already? Audience chamber. Say that. I don't know, dear. I don't know. Such a do about a damned bridge. Mistake. It's just a bridge. Is it really worth all that ire? Come on. Isn't there something you hate for no good reason? Message ring. Are they going to arrest us? Their hypermobile makes you quite disconcerted. You know what, Lay? I couldn't agree more. Oh, All right. Time to skulk about. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Let's turn down the fire. Have a seat. Sure, this is gonna turn out well. Let's keep to the shadow. Oh, 
Dziękuję. What? Why are you not hiding anymore? Anyone in here? What? They won't see me coming. <laughs> You're sneaking around. Okay, well. Watch your back. Oh, someone in there. Otto, Otto. I don't know you. Are you? Are you? Oh. Well, I'm gonna talk to you after the dude come back and went away. Okay. Have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Careful, I mind. Should be easy. Sure, this is gonna be fine. Over here. Let's go in. Oh, thank you. Close the flipping this? door. Let's talk to All right. her. What now? You might as well lock the cell. You're too late. It's over. The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me, dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk, empty as a stair. A tadpole's oh, puppet. Yeah. Nothing more. He spoke in accusations, apostasy, conspiracy, sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. You might have unlocked my cell, but there's no escape from this place. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Alder's words. I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. Lead me from my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Well done. Lead the way. Um, so about that, how are we going to do that exactly? Because like, you know, all these guards and all that. Okay, well, I guess you're fighting. This will do nicely. Oh, so you can fight too, I see. Awesome. I got this. Close ranks.
Enough movement to go there no. on the move. <laughs> Not bad. Gotta focus on this guy then. Hiding there, all right. There's blood in the air. Let's go with fire, baby. Another fight. Let's go. Torment. Hey, nice. Twenty six, let's go. He's dead. All right, Karlak. It's go time. Count on me. Nice. Okay, let's look them now. before me uh, I'm not gonna take oh yes that's useful okay, let's open these cells <laughs> while we are at it I should have just like fought them from the very beginning anyone in here came to rescue no skeleton let's see that's actually sad something good here oh I now hope. we can loot the chest 
about it something. Cool. Let's see. And what's this Otto guy doing here? Oh, is he? Who are you, my friend? You what look do rough. you want? I don't need to escape. I've got food, water, privacy, and I mean to keep it that way. All right, you do you then. This is far enough. The way should be clear. Let's go. I Finally, can't thank something you enough we did right. For getting me out of that damned prison, and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. Sweetie! Hello everyone! Thank you for the rain! Hello Riso! Hello Jay! Hello Liv! Hello Iriel! Hi sweetie! <laughs> Hi Raven again! <laughs> hey everyone! How was the raid? Hello, Cree. Hello, Uno. Okay, let me try to do the shout outs because I don't think Yulina is here. Oh, that tricked. Hey, it's the horny lady that Raven likes. <laughs> So you were playing Zelda, The Legend of Skyward. Um, yeah, I can't talk. So The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Swords. Hello, Pot5. I, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I really, I think I made her pretty good. Oh, thank you for the follow. So, if you don't know me, I'm Petty. I'm, or Potty, more like. Um, depends how you pronounce my name, I guess. Um, I play random games these days. I only play pretty much Baldur's Gate, Horizon, and I started Yakuza. Um, and occasionally some horror, but I'm a scaredy cat, so I don't know about that. Um, and I love coffee, so welcome to my coffee shop, I guess. But yeah, um, I, I made a pact with the devil, with Raphael. Yes, I is Richard Hydrate Weasel, thank you. Mm. And... Yeah, I'm trying not to mess up things more, but apparently I'm kind of failing. But now I did save this woman. We we met her like I don't know, twenty hours before, and she asked us to save um the Duke Ravenguard, which we are kind of failing at the moment. But we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm making all the bad decisions and then we'll probably die alone. And the only love I can find is um with from some brothers. <laughs> yeah, um I don't think wait. Let me let me Okay, that worked and then I know that I really Neat. But how was the stream? Hopefully I didn't miss your message. I will have to read back. Of course, you're welcome. I'm trying trying to exist without you, Lina. Oh, if you hear some noises, that's just my dog playing with her ball, and she keep losing it, and then running through my 
flat like a tank. It was good, I did a bunch of side quests and ended it with some... 30 feet, oh no! Oh no! When the flames roared loudest, you pulled me to safety. Most would have let me burn. Good, good, good. I won't forget it. I will travel to the upper city. Find what allies I can. You I think won't this is fight a good choice. Coming battle alone. As Everyone long is so as happy and bloody. Stands, <laughs> I will stand with it. This is my promise. Thank you, lady. Uh, of course, guys, of course. And I'm um, honestly, it's not going that well, but um. Oh, saving. Oh, another quake. Thank you for the lurk, sweetie. And of course, uh, again, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you're gonna have a good rest. And um, some pancakes. <laughs> Enjoy your pancakes. And this goes out for everyone. If you need to go, I totally understand. I appreciate the raid and all the lurks. So no worries. I only just realized that I had to click the Twitch integration pop up. I thought it was part of it. <laughs> well, I can. I have the option to let you guys choose. It sounds oh. Mizora? Mizora? What is she doing here? If it isn't Little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. What? A travesty, really. She's so hot, though. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. I'd hate okay. for him to miss the fun. Oh, I'm sure you would. Damn. This is all... Okay, so... Oh, oh. Confront Lord Gortash. I want. Okay, but I. They're all hot in there. Honestly, like, yeah. For real. Has on his side. Well, let's That's confront Gortash then. I suppose. You better not be cursed. Is that Need the to door that I'm supposed to, to go this. through? No, this seems to be something else. Oh, who are you guys? What? Oh. oh, uh, what are you... What are you doing in here? I don't know. You're not a fist. Go on, get out, or I'll... I'll wake the others. You seem... that you're in trouble. Oh my god, not the checks. Okay, let's go. Oh, I have the inspiration. Thank it. Just watch me reload and it will work. And now for the last one it works. Okay, of Please, course. Please, uh, that won't be necessary. I... I just mm -hmm. needed gold. So you were stealing from That's them. For what? I'm getting out of here. Taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple though. Danger money. It's a joke. No! I mean, uh, I'm just... I quit. Nothing wrong with quitting a job. Oh. In your My case? My wife said we have to stand and fight and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. I kinda understand that. I'm not a soldier. I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. They're better off without me. I'm scared. All I want 
Okay, okay, I will give him. Wait. I will give you the money. You Where are you be going? In here. Oh no, I don't like this. I do not like this. This is not gonna end well. Kings people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengar, thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. I know. This is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. The tiefling is letting her passions get the better of her. The situation is delicate. Do not be swept up in her emotions. Oh, shush. I guess we are reloading until we convince her. The tiefling is letting her passions get the better of her. The situation is delicate. What are we talking about? <laughs> You're asking As a lot. For everything at every new. Let's go, Karlak. <laughs> but I can wait. For a while, at least. We Let's will get, get him, gate safe. Karlak. We will. Then rip his throat out. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak. Come and say a proper hello. My oh, respects. I hate his face. You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... Ah, how I've missed your colourful turns of phrase. We must catch Ooh. up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Oh. Next, the grand Whose design. Whose fault is that? The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, no. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course, Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not, but it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. The crown's magic turned the brain into something the world has never seen. A nether brain. Its power is immense. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. The likes of you stand to benefit from the likes of me. No, no, I... I, this I won't do. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. I noticed. You've met her assassins. Efficient killers by all I'm accounts. I know you survived She's... previous encounters. But she she has some relent. problems, but... Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. 
You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Oh my god, Thorn all these flipping pacts. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. No. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. No. What do you say? Shall we be allies? No, I won't do it for Skylight. No deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, I don't well, want to betray Carlac too. Honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the Viper to the Frog. Exactly. I like the first response the most. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise, but you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Kethrick and Orin together to create the absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and co- I will allow that. Oh no, we lost the voice. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. It deserves the absurd friends of Kyla You can trust me. Yes. No, I won't trust you. I'm gonna get attacked, but I will do this for Carla. I won't make him ally. What a shame to refuse the power of a god. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right oh, no. decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A no. shifter? It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. Oh, Let this be it's... a warning. Orin is the spark in a powder keg. We make an alliance, or the city oh is God. made ash. I think he's just toying with I me. I will give you time to reconsider. Tread carefully. Remember, you must do what it takes to survive. No, I already have a deal with one like enemy. Deal. No. No. Oh my God. Hey, should we choose this? I'm sure it's gonna go well. <laughs> You're bluffing, right? Because those contraptions can turn us into paste. Sage advice. My steel watchers take unkindly to threats, no matter how hollow. You're of little use to me, dead. But dead is exactly what you will be if you arouse the ire of my steel watch. Oh, but I most certainly am not. Now, come, be witness as I make history. <laughs> I don't dare to. The first Archduke <laughs> of Baldur's Gate. Then allow me to peek it for you. Your brain twists and stretches Ew. under the watcher's gaze. The pain almost brings you to your knees before fading you will follow me and you will show due respect distinguished dukes patriarchs dearest raven guard i will heed your call a new chapter begins i mean his whole design looks pretty cool i give him them 
Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. And now you should. Just Swearest thou true his head faith from and his fealty no. to the same, <laughs> by word, deed, and decree, I wish it would be so that, that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you, Archduke of me. Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. Well. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash in all his glory. What did you make of him? Can't wait to flatten mm. him. <laughs> Not if I get yes. to him first. How could all these people cheer for him like that? Can't they see what a chancer he is? And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this, and it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. Yep. Speak up. Dearest Karlak, I'd busy myself finding Orin if I were you. I'll still be here for any unfinished business once you've secured your camp. Well, that's it? That's all you have to say to me? Were you hoping for something else? A word of wisdom? A hug? Thanks to you, I don't hope for things anymore. I just take whatever it is I want. See you soon, motherfucker. You most oh, certainly Oh, yes. Tell her. Okay, um... I do... to change them here because I do want to talk with Mizora with Rio on my way um hi it's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? <sighs> Isn't there a human crest she can join? Oh my god, what if she is the, 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 the thing? By the way, it's kind of dangerous for kids. 
Let's see what the others think. You don't? But, um, but... <laughs> All right, I'll go. But you'll see. You should have said yes. You'll wish you said yes. Oopsie. <laughs> You know what? Okay, I will let her stay. All right, I will let her stay. My heart just can't... Can't do this to her. I will let her stay. Thank you. <laughs> Who am I to banish a chance? Isn't a human crest she can join? Everything. I can cook really good. Whatever you want. Thank you. Thank you. These boots have seen everything. So, Laisel, where are you? I'm sorry, you want you gotta stay here. Just what I need. Our camp houses an imposter then. Say nothing. Trust no one. Not even me. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Yes. Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. Now where is really boy? Come to see me, Zora. It's gonna be fine. Unthinkable. To see my own father named Gortash, the sole ruler of Baldur's Gate. Please, we need to speak with him. Maybe. No. Maybe he can see reason. No. Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmane allied with a mind flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or... Maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. That's the spirit. Oh, what is wrong with you? Why always Gale is bugged? And handing it over to a devil will be a wait. For now, our plan must... Yeah, but we already had this conversation, so I'm not sure why would you want to talk again. If Gortash is to be believed, and even our camp isn't safe from Orin's influence. You might want to confirm the veracity of his claim. Or at least, clean up the mess. Keeping very well, I hope. I mourn the man I knew. He was wonderful. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. This was different. It was like I could see my fate in her eyes. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was Hydrate, skeptical. Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! Aelin is Aelin, immortal, Aelin. after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance had between us, certainly. About, so but next skip. I knew, I, he told, I found by the... He's gone now. But I suppose the man I knew died. Yeah. Have a drink. Thank you, Lisa. An imposter in our ranks. If this is true, it could be anyone. You, me. Well, not me. I know who I am. Perhaps we shouldn't take Gortash's word for granted. But if he speaks the truth, we need to be careful. Orin could have eyes and ears on us right now.
<laughs> Hi, he -mum. So, we have a uh, shape changer at our camp. <laughs> Thank you for coming along. Good luck finding her. Yeah? You could watch out for anyone acting strangely, but, well, you know the lunatics we camp with. You are one of them, so... A true pleasure to watch you tell the Archduke exactly where to put his alliance. One cannot embrace a viper, only get entangled by it. And we learn something. One chosen thinks to send us against the other, while they sit safe I behind their defenses. Like this, yeah, like this Good. Always. It's okay. Gedrick thought he was safe too. It would be irritatingly true to form. We did not. Mm. A harper learns to doubt, to peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it? There might be, but mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. Let's leave then and talk to Mizora. Simple enough. Mm, can we go in? No. Then let's go down. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mazora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. To the slaughter, the way I hear it. Slaughter? Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save Oh, please. Him. Is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Oh my god, then I guess we go and go back to our camp. Raven guards are heroes. Elder Elbow. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Certainly not, but she's as inevitable as Toril's path around the sun. We'll have answers soon enough. Mazora's gone to camp. We should speak with her. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. But like, can I leave first, for example? Gortash's charms do not been casting The other way? Not this way? The other way? Can I finally enter? The people aren't stupid, Astaria. They're scared. Gortash provoked a damned war and then promised them safety.
Safety, sweets, it's the same principle. Center the camp first. Now, where is Mizora, the devil? Mizora? Do I just have to talk with Will? Was she inside there? <laughs> or there perhaps? No, I don't see her there. Oh, there's nothing here, okay. Um, let's talk to Will then. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Mizora? Do I have to take a long rest? I will. Yes. Okay. Figured. Ah, made the shot at the wrong time. Such a dramatic entrance. Sorore surge testis esto pacti Come, sisters, be my testament. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Heard of such devils, sisters of justice, adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Oh. Holy hells! You do not call upon the sisters. They come when the hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Not Sisters. again. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must what be What do paid. you mean, a life for a life? Raven guard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. No. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. 
bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole! Choose. Oh my god, why do I have to influence him here? I feel so bad. He sacrificed enough. I will save though. You damned wretch. Father. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't think you would do you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I hate you. I think I'll stick around. No, and you shouldn't. For the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. I don't like any of this. Go away, Mizora. Gods, I spent seven years choked by Mizora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. And never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. I have to believe that. I'm not the hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The blade will be guiding his own hand, but freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Let me still Today, save him. I'm sure I'm there is a way. Loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a mote of tranquility. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. I signed his life away before the Hell's witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds and the city from the brain. Hey, good talk. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Impossible. My bargain was uncommonly reasonable. Uh -huh. A single soul for the return of Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke. A real bargain, I should think. I never thought the legendary Blade of Frontiers would surrender his father for freedom. Not very valorous, if you ask me. But what does a mean old devil like me know about heroes? Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. Not so sure about that. I tell you what. When the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Hey. Okay. The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. 
The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. Mm hmm. You know what? I don't want to talk with you. <laughs> oh boy. You know what? Let's just go to sleep, okay? Oh, Karlak is just chilling. I do want to talk with Karlak, though. I can't believe Will's given up his soul to Zariel. For a father he fell out with ages ago. There's such a thing as being too good. Someone ought to tell Will Ravenguard. Hey. Okay. 